let's get started for this um, at the very first we have to prepare the onions uh, so to fry the onions take a white pan and add a little oil into that add in finely sliced five big onions and add some salt and combine well and let it fry until the onions turn in golden brown color it will take like 8 to 12 minutes to get that golden brown color so once it done keep it aside and for this recipe we need long grain basmati rice wash it a few times in pour in enough water and let it soak for about 30 minutes and then let's cook the rice in boiling water add the soaked rice to this and i'm going to add some whole spices and 2 uh, tablespoon of ghee and a green chilli and a rock salt let it cook till the rice cook for 3 4 hours and drain the rice once it done and keep it aside and the next step marinate the chicken uh, into a chicken uh, add the fried uh, onions and curd ginger garlic paste salt chili powder i'm making child friendly so i'm using little turmeric and cumin coriander powder garam masala powder and half a lime combine well and add mint and coriander leaves combine the mixture and let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes prepare the mixture before uh, like uh, 15 to 20 minutes before you cooking Now we are going to prepare the toppings uh, like cashews you can fry the cashews and keep it aside and the next step is for the biryani into a pan add the 2 tablespoon of ghee and you can use the remaining oil by which you use for the fry the onions and uh, one green chili if you want more spicy you can make it uh, two or three add spices Give a good mix. Once it dance, add the mixture what you prepared earlier, and uh, give a good mix and let it sit for about ten to twelve minutes. Once you can see the oil separates from the gravy, she can also three four done here. Let's take the tawa for a dam, and at this moment you can use the uh, biryani essence as well. It's optional; you can skip the that process as well. And once you heat the tawa, keep it a uh, pot, and uh, and now assemble all the items in order. First, place the rice and this rice slowly. top with fried onions and fried cashews we yeah, are skip the process which is uh, used by saffron and uh, milk 
uh, if you have a uh, soap saffron in a milk uh, you can use that milk as well but i uh, ran out that so i skip that process and topped with mint and coriander leaves and finally add two tablespoons of uh, ghee to get that aroma once you arrange all the ingredients let's cover the top with foil paper make sure it's completely fixed to the top and close the lid and let's set the pot for about 10 to 25 minutes in a low flame After 20 minutes, you can feel it. Yeah, you go with an aromatic chicken tikka dum biryani. You can see how it's fluffy. And it's perfectly done in the rice. And this is a must try recipe. Who is already bored with this?